Hey everybody, Shelma32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to the ninth episode of season two of The Legend of Vox Machina. This one is entitled A Test of Pride. Now, I, for some reason, I'm assuming that that has to do with Grog, considering we're going to West Rune. West Rune? Or is it West Run? West. I think it's West Rune because there's two U's. Anyway, we're going to there, and obviously, he's. Is, well, I'm sorry, I was thinking of Henry Wrinkler. I've literally just watched the last episode, so apologies. My head's kind of stalling a bit. We're going to his uncle has the gauntlets. I can't remember what they're called, which is another vestige. So I'm assuming that it has something to do with that. I just realised I had my hand held in front of the microphone. So apologies. I just did it again. Fucking hell. Ah, <laughs> oh, I really like the parts with Grog, Scanlan, Pike. Forgotten the grand her great great grandfather's name, but I don't care. It's Henry Winkler. He was awesome. I love that man. He's so he's so good. They got fucking Henry Winkler in the show. Come on, come on. It's insane. Ah, oh. I love seeing Granlan. Granlan? I was going to say Grog and Scanlan. So it came at Granlan. Is that a ship name? I don't know. I love seeing Scanlan looking after Grog still. That's awesome, but oh, the Fey Realm. Fucking awesome. Obviously, we had Garmelli. We saw him at the end turn into his, I'm assuming, his true form. And that was the character I was asking about at the previous end of the previous episode. Not last episode, episode seven. Where I was just like going... I was in the spoiler section, I was asking, is that, yeah, and that I answered my question at the end of this that episode. And obviously that was Matt's voice, I'm pretty sure. That sounded like Matt. Just fucking, oh, that's so cool. Now, I still want to punch the father. Still want to punch the twins' father because he got, he's a fucking dick. Is it because they're tainted with human blood? Is he a, even more of a scumbag than he seems? Because he's love. See, I think I don't see any reason why he's not lovely to his daughter, his other daughter, Valora, who was lovely and adorable, really sweet, as like in the campaign. Because I have seen her part, or at least the part that that kind of covered. But oh, her mother seems fine and sweet. She was really nice and polite with them. Him, on the other hand, I want. Still want to go back, punch, reach for his screen and fucking deck him. I do. He's a fucking asshole for no reason to them. Just plain rude. Not father to them, but he's the father to Valora. Not Valora's fault at all, obviously, but he's an asshole. Oh, I so how glad that we got that moment of Percy bestowing that title. I've seen that moment in the campaign and it's fucking awesome. Is but like Percy's just badass in so many ways, and obviously Vex was, because we saw uh, Thunder. I'm I'm terrible with names. I do apologise. Voiced by Sendel Rummer Murphy. I remember that because I looked up where I knew him from. And that was Heroes, but yeah, fucking awesome character that was. But oh, that's a good episode. That was a re this season's just amazing. It's so good. Hopefully we'll all reunite this episode because I don't want any more of the team split. I don't like it. I hope we get it back. I hope, the, hope that's where Garmelli. Oh my god, I've forgotten the, his other name. Oh, fucking hell, sorry. I've literally forgotten the, the other name. I said I literally said it in my episode set and um, it's spoiler part of my uh, episode 7 reaction, which I won't say the name. I can't remember. I'm going to beat myself up all the way through the episode now because I can't remember. Hey, at least I knew... At least I fucking am. I've started to talk and then I'm now beat myself up for the fact that episode 7 I was unable to recognise Billy Boyd's voice straight away. Oh, oh Billy Boyd was awesome. He was so good as Garmelli. Now I'm just interested to meet Kev that properly. So his voice actor is fantastic too. Are we going to get more dragons, or is it just with Grog's people? 
this is going to be a good Travis episode. I can tell from confronting his every episode is a good Travis episode. He puts in brilliant performance, Scrog. But I just feel like because he's going to have to confront his uncle, this is going to be a really good Grog episode. I can feel it and I'm excited to see everybody. If you enjoyed the reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, give the notification bell a tick, you'll know when the next episode goes live. Let's get going with the reaction in three, two, one. Let's go. What's this? Oh, is this where they're coming back? Oh no, it's the it's the half giant, isn't it? That heavy thud that sounds like him. Kev Dak. Bleed them! Holy shit! I thought half giants couldn't get did male at least male ones didn't have hair. Or are they not just half giants? Take what he wants and teach him to fear the name. Grog Strong. That's Grog! I didn't realize that was a flashback. Oh, Grog! Oh, God. Like, this is the first, like, back history we've properly got on Grog, isn't it? Fuck, I did not see that coming that Until, like, he, he said boy, I was like, wait a minute, no fucking way. Myth Carver showed me the city overrun by half giants like Grog. Well, normal Grog. Oh, don't be oh, Grog. I gave all I had. There's nothing left. Well, my small friend, if you ain't got nothing for the offering that makes you worthless, don't it? Oh my god. There's only two. We can take them easy. Now, if they're with the herd, they ain't easy. Bold of parchment shares, yes! <clears throat> uh, who's Kevdak again? Their leader, my uncle. Yeah, but I didn't know that's what they were. He just called him his Titanstone Knuckles. That name I've heard before. I don't know, no one really kept a list. This oh, is I did heard someone say hundreds before. <laughs> um, is that a lot? Oh. <laughs> but come on, you can still hold an axe, can't you? Wouldn't count on it. Oh, Grog! Would you be impressed if I single-handedly infiltrated Western and retrieved said vestige? Don't get too cocky. If Scanlan the Revolutionary is not back within the hour, promise you'll try to love again. I will do my best. <laughs> Nevosh Nevon Clue! That was funny. Love the hat on the fly. Sorry. You know what I mean. <laughs> no one can stop me. Until the day I met him. He changed him, did he? No. Take whatever you want. Please. Spare me. Oh. I I have a family. Oh. I didn't sign up to take orders from a bloody dragon. What <laughs> say you, Sanroar? I say someone needs to stand up to my father. Oh, that's his cousin. <sighs> 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 Akumaro? No way. Who the fuck? Are you one of them? I'm about four feet too short to be one of them. Who are you <laughs> people? Just unlucky. Farmers, shopkeepers. And they're hiding in there. How long? A week. Maybe two. We've been waiting for an opening to escape, but how'd you wind up in this hell? I'm sort of an adventurer, rebel leader, musician, some would say philosopher, named Scanlan. As in... Scanlan Shorthalt. <laughs> yourself a pet. Fuck, I need to get rid of the Rex, right? Zanroar. Who's voting Zanroar? I recognize Zanroar's voice. Hey, hey, don't let my father catch you getting soft with these. But we know Zanroar survives. So how does he stop this? Oh. <laughs> okay, he just beats him up. You would betray my son, your own cousin, for that, or I will take yours. Oh, Grog. He stood up to him once, he can do it again. Run! 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 
Oh, does he make him the big axe, maybe? Oh, wait, his axe got broken, didn't it? I should have known you weren't strong enough to raid with us. Oh, Grog. Like your father before you. Oh, don't you fucking... Oh, yeah, I was going to say, don't you insult his father. <laughs> Even they're not liking seeing it. Grog, strong jaw. You are hereby banished. Okay, the they just storms. banished him. Oh, Grog. And he saved him. Is that his wife? Never lie to Please. Oh, she looks so much like Pike. Uh, yeah, brave. That's me. Oh, that's that Pike's mum. Or oh, grandmum. If that's his daughter, it'd be grandmum, wouldn't it? Because he's great, great. Oh, then no, that's his great grand. I'm fucking confused. I'll stop thinking about it too much. Oh, oh, he's. I never knew. Yeah, we killed. And sometimes for no reason. And I was too weak. Oh, what about shoot? Travis is making me cry. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. One thing I learned in this life, no one comes back to save you. So, Scan and Short Alt. Aww. <laughs> what are you prepared to do? Come on, Scanlan. Is it just me, or do these offerings keep getting smaller? Is Scanlan gonna see Ripley? You waste my time with scraps when you wear what I covered. Our deal stands. This city yields. Wow, it's insane. And we'll find the gold for your precious conclave, even if it means expanding our efforts. Oh, he is not happy. <laughs> Is he killing his own son? Fuck. Could be in trouble. Come on. Come on, Grog, you can do it. We'll sneak in. Get our boy and sneak out. How? Your armor's not exactly the quietest. And he'll spot me a mile away. Very true. <laughs> nice lad, Mikey. Hey, what's with calling me a turd? Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was like, you know, acting. He did really well. I'm not worried about you, you cuck. From what I've heard, it figures you'd run. Ah, fine, everyone can come, but it'll be dangerous. And if I'm gonna pull this off, I'm gonna need a little something from you. How are they gonna get everybody out? Come on. Whoa. Stay close. Shit. How are they going to do it? Are they going to leave and then Grog and that going to be there? Drop on his head. Shit me. Well, fuck me. You do have tricks. <laughs> I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> Grog! Sorry to interrupt. Oh, oh, uh, right. Uh, don't worry, everyone. This murderous half-giant is actually on our side. Wonderful. Suppose you couldn't have found a beefier one, hmm? Oh. Aww. He's just freaked out that your uncle's herd has teamed up with a dragon. Hey, what? <laughs> can't believe they got Kaylee. Hee <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Aww. Okay, then. We'll go first. Grog, you can take up the rear. I blame them for being afraid of him. Oh, Grog. He's going to stand up to his uncle. Grog, I love you, but what are you doing? They're afraid of me. Afraid of my kind. And that's not going to change unless someone takes down the herd. You can do it, buddy. Kevdak? Like that? Your belt looks like it's wearing you. Buddy, so we got to stick together. Not this time. This was he needs to do? You said I'm different now. But if I leave, I'm as weak as he always said I was. No, hitting hard and being big don't make you strong. It's standing up for the little folk. Oh, that's what makes that's me his strength. different from them. Damn right. What if I need you? Oh. He tells me there are some among you 
who would return to the wilds. I say to you, all are free to go. <laughs> If anyone here thinks they are fit to lead better than I, step forward. Grog? It's gonna be Grog, isn't it? But he's not got his strengths. Captain! Is he still skinny? Remember me. Oh, fuck you! Oh, fuck you! I can't believe they left it there! Oh, that's just the most evil place. But I am, once again, fucking proud of Grog. I'm so fucking proud of him. He's still up to his, he's like, doing no, I've got to do this. And I feel like this is his strength, standing up for the little people, as he says. I love that. That's fucking awesome. That's so good. Oh, I love, fuck, I'm crying again. <laughs> Oh, I love it. It's fucking awesome. It's so good, this show. Like, I'm fucking proud of Grog. I am. Fucking hell, I can't stop crying now. Jesus. Oh, dear. Hang on a minute. Yeah, we, we literally just had them all the way through. Holy shit. Only just twins. We literally just had Scanlan, Grog, Pike. Kaylee! <laughs> Anytime I've got to stop myself from doing it, I'm going to do that because I don't want to say anything. Oh! That was a good one. That was a fucking brilliant episode for fucking hell. My eyes just, I'm not actively crying, they're just leaking. It's like very slowly. But, oh. Travis is fucking awesome. I love Grog. And his animation in his face is just paired perfectly with Travis's performance. And Pike and Scanlan and everybody's performance was fucking awesome. Like this is this the first time we've actually got history from Grog in this in this, this show, actually just the show, not the campaign. But the show itself. I feel like this it's that was brilliant. Fuck. I'm really loving what Scanlan's doing. Like, yeah, okay, he was being like his cheeky self, but he still, it still has fine. I'll help them, you know? And Pike. Ashley's performance is Pike as well. Ashley and Travis together is just, oh. There's like nothing like it. Them two. They're just perfect to play these characters them together. So basically Grog's always been there for her. Literally always. Because if that's his daughter, he's great to be her great grandmother. Unless it's a, it is great. Unless it's I'm getting fucking confused. I don't know. But she looks so much like Pike. Yeah, she had black hair, but apart from that. The pike. It was lovely. That was so, oh, that was such a fucking beautiful episode. Yeah, okay, we got the tragic. We got Grog and what he used to be like. I'm so sorry. I'm tired. It's not the show. I get tired really easily. But that show was. It's just I don't I don't know how to explain it. That was beautiful. Like Grog change from that just from seeing her great great grandfather from seeing pop pop <laughs> it was perfectly done oh dear scanline recognized ripley's voice don't think he knew who it was or maybe he'll re realize it at some point towards the others where are the others hopefully we find that night next week i'm sure we will because we've only got three episodes left now but that was beautiful. That was a brilliant episode. This show leave. I know I talk a lot, but I also feel like I'm speechless, you know? This show just... I don't know what to say to accurately describe 
how fucking amazing this show is. Nothing completely feels right. It's amazing. Such an incredible show. Oh, dear. I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. Once I start yawning, I can't stop. I can never get the last bit of the yawn out. Fuck. Because I'm yawning. My eyes are watering again. I can't stop. can't fucking win, can I? Jesus. <laughs> oh, dear me. I'll have to do that probably after I finish. Oh, this show's so fucking good. I like he's still skinny and he stood up. Okay, black. I was ah, oh, fucking angry they left it there, but it was a good place to leave it as well. That was, oh, that's so good. Fucking awesome show. I'd love to know what you guys think. Obviously, no spoilers for what's coming up or anything like that. I I know some bits and pieces from campaign one, but I don't know when those bits and pieces fall, and it's not that much. So obviously, please no spoilers. But I'd love to know, like, how... I would love to know how things happened in the campaign. But also, I want to be careful of people that might want to go back and watch the campaign afterwards, you know? And I don't want to spoil anybody. I've got to be careful with that. But I'd love to know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you again for the next one. Bye.